Hello my creepy lovelies and welcome back to another cliffhanger text story. This one is called The Road. Let's begin, shall we? Group text initiated. Unknown. Beginning trial period. David says, what? What trial period? Courtney says, hi baby. Who is this? It's me. This is not funny. Who is this? How did you get Courtney's phone? Oh, she's dead? That's horrible. It's me, David. I don't know why I have my phone. I don't think I should. Look, whoever this is, screw you. Pretending to be a dead person is really messed up. I don't know why you're doing this, but I don't care. I'm blocking this number. Please don't. Remember when I was driving your car home from Bar, Bar Harbor and I hit that deer? I was so scared your dad would hate me. I wouldn't, couldn't stop crying. So you said you'd say it was you. You said you'd never tell anyone. And you know I never did. How do you know about that? I've never told anybody about that. It's me, David. I swear it is. If it is you, and I'm not saying it is, how is this happening? I'm not sure. I just woke up here. I tried to call you, but the operator said the call could not be completed. All I can do is text. Where are you? I'm by the side of the road somewhere. A road? It looks like a two-lane highway. Woods on either side. I don't recognize it. It's really dark. Can you see any signs or anything? I can't believe I'm talking like this is really happening. No, there's nothing. All I can see is the lines on the road and the light from my phone. Wait, there's something else. What is it? I'm not sure. There's a light somewhere up ahead. It's really faint. I can barely see it. Can you get closer? Go toward the light. Go toward the light, you mean? Yeah. Sorry, that's not funny. Well, it's, I don't think it's supposed to be funny, sweetie. I don't think it's that kind of light anyway. I don't like looking at it. Just please keep talking to me. If this is really is you, don't worry. I'm walking toward the light now, but it's really far away. It's so cold. Well, maybe it's a bad light. You're always cold. We're always cold. I hear something. What? An engine, I think. It's getting closer. I think it's a car. Maybe this is a real place. Maybe I can get back. I don't think so. Just be careful. Stay out of the road. I will. It's funny, you worrying about me now. When I'm already, you know... Don't say it. Maybe, maybe you're not. Maybe this has all been some mistake. The accident and everything. Maybe it all wasn't real somehow. David. Really? <laughs> Goodness. Baby, help me. What? What is it? The engine, it was a truck. It just went by. There were all these people in it. They all looked at me at once. Even the driver. They had no eyes. Oh, that's creepy. What? And they were all smiling the same way. This terrible way. It happened so fast, but I think there was blood all over the inside of the cab. David, I'm so scared. Help me, please. I don't think there's anything he can do. I wish I knew how. Can you keep going? See if you can find a sign or something. Please. Okay, okay, I'm going. I hope no more cars come. It'll be okay, sweetheart. Just keep walking. I can see the light a little better now. It's red. Courtney, are you there? 
Your trial period has come to an end. What the heck? What? My what? Would you like to continue speaking to your party? Enter yes to continue or no to stop. Warning, if you continue, there will be consequences. Who are you? Will David find a way to reunite with Courtney? Find out in the conclusion of the road. Oh, I feel like it's going to be sad. I don't want to read this. Let's see. I hope it's a happy ending for once. Unknown. Would you like to continue speaking to your party? Enter yes to continue or no to stop. Warning, if you continue, there will be consequences. Yes. Are you sure? Yes, dang it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Understood. Reestablish, reestablishing connection. I don't know why I can't talk. I'm sorry. David? I'm here. Oh, thank God. I thought you'd left me. Where are you now? Still beside the road. But I hear another engine. David, I'm so scared. It's okay. I'm right here. It's coming. It's... Courtney? What's happening? I want to go home. I can't stop shaking and crying. What happened? The car pulled over and stopped right by me. There was a girl behind the wheel. She looked normal. She asked if I needed a ride, but I said no. And then she kind of bent over backward across the seats. Oh. Her face stretched out in this horrible, way too long grin. And she started inching toward me on her bit over back with her arms stretched out. Ooh. Just saying, you need a ride. You really do. Over and over. I ran away, but I can still see the headlights back there. I think they're following me. I'm so scared, David. I'm here, sweetheart. God, I wish there was something I could do. I'm going as fast as I can. The lights aren't catching up. They just keep following me. Slowly. It's like they want me to go to the light. But I don't think I want to go. You have to try anyway, sweetheart, please. Not like you have much of a choice. I'm starting to get close now. And there are actually two. I think it's tail lights. There's a car stopped on the road. Can you get to it? I'll try. God, that car is still following me. Just keep moving. Can you see anything yet? I think so. There's someone in the car. And there's something on the road. I'm going to look. What is it? David? What? What do you see? There's something in front of the car. Blood all over the road. No. Broken glass everywhere. Stop. I thought it was a deer at first. Maybe it was a deer at first. But when I got closer... Courtney, no. Don't say it. It's me, David. What? It was always me. It's the car that hit me. It's our car. No. Please, so wait. What? It's you. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> That's just my battery. Behind the wheel. It was always you, wasn't it? I remember now. Getting out to go to the bathroom. I got turned around in the woods. It was so dark. And when I finally stumbled back into the road, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You were gone so long, I didn't know what to do. I thought I should go and get help. It was over before I knew what happened. I'm so sorry. The car is gone now. The one that was following me. I hear an engine. It's outside, but it's getting louder and louder. I think it's coming. I'm sorry, David. But they told you there'd be consequences? Who's they? And I think you need a ride. What? Okay, wait a minute. 
You made it seem okay. This she made it seem like she loved David and cared about him. He said it was an accident. He didn't mean to hit her or whatever. She's the one who went to the bathroom in the woods for whatever reason. Well, I don't know what they were doing out in the woods, but she went to the bathroom in the woods. She stumbles out. She probably stumbled out so quick he didn't realize that she was out there. And then, you know, he ran her over, of course. Obviously, he feels bad about it. But, so, so then she dies, decides to text him through some weird demon people. And now they're sending a car after him to drive him to hell. I don't get what's going on. And, that, you know what, Courtney, you deserve to be run over. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys are probably just like, yeah, we, we didn't need to hear all that talking, but <laughs> that annoyed me. That's just me. <laughs> all right. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. <laughs> Despite my little rant at the end, and I will see you next time for another cliffhanger text story.